Assalamualaikum and good day to all. My name is Nurafika Alia Binti Razin and I am supervised by Dr. Rahima Binti Haji Abdul Hamid. And my title for Bachelor Degree Project 1 is The Effect of Sintering Temperature on Surface Topography and Density of the CNC Mill Zircornia Dental Restoration. So, as we can see, dental CAD CAM is a new manufacturing technique to fabricate dentistry restoration. However, in milling process resulted in scale height and scratch groups on the restoration surface. So, surface softness is one of the main essential properties responsible for microbial attractiveness in patient's mouth, and it is crucial to ensure the roughness of the restoration within acceptable range. According to Tamada, Microbial addition is enhanced by increasing the surface roughness between 0.1 and, and 0.4 micrometer. Sintering temperature plays a vital role in grain densification and affects the porosity and surface texture of the specimen. And during the study, the effect of sintering temperature on the surface roughness and porosity is investigated to develop the highly aesthetic dental restoration. Moreover, this study aims to determine the optimal sintering temperature to obtain the zirconia restoration with better surface roughness and porosity. High sintering temperatures are predicted to improve these characteristics. And we can see figure 1 shows the zirconia crown. Next, problem statement. It is known that surface roughness of a dental crown restoration is significant because if the surface happens to be uneven, which is rough, it will lead to microbial attractiveness to the patient's mouth. And also, it's found that surface of dental crown restoration is affected by the scale of height and scratch groups effect from milling process during its fabrication. In addition, the micropitting is also observed due to the fabrication of zirconia dates. Meanwhile, density is a significant physical property that related to porosity of microstructure. And we can see generally a dense ceramic is, is habits a packed microstructure with limited porosity. Pores in microstructure are detrimental to mechanical properties of dental restoration. Therefore, sintering of zircon restoration would be carried out to at varying temperatures from 1250 until 1650 to improve the surface topography and the porosity. So, the optimal sintering temperature to obtain better surface topography and porosity has to be investigated. Next, the objectives of study. First objective is to analyze the surface roughness of the heat treated zirconia dental restoration by using a surface roughness tester. Second is to examine the porosity of the heat treated zirconia dental restoration by using Archimedes principle. And third, to observe the surface topography of the heat treated zirconia dental restoration by using scanning electron microstructure machine. Next is scope of the study. First, the presenter next zirconia disc, which is dental zirconia outside from sage mats by ceramics, are used in the workpiece material. Second, the zirconia dental crowns are heated at temperatures above 1000 and 200 degrees Celsius, which has five types of uh, temperature. According to Yin, the sintering temperatures between 1200 until 1600 degrees Celsius resulted in compacted zirconia grains of 300 nanometer. So, in this study, we used two types of specimen. The first one is dental crown. The dental crown are used for surface topography and porosity study. And the second one is cuboid shape, and it is, it is used for surface roughness study. The overview of literature review and we can know that surface roughness plays a very essential role in dental restoration so rashid concluded that the increase of surface roughness on fabricated ceramic restoration might result in bacterial addition in mouth and besides the porosity of dental restoration microstructure also vital in dental restoration jema claimed that porosity in structure of material has decreasing effect on their mechanical properties due to the effect of force and it could lead to a fracture of restoration. And we can see the figure 2, the illustration of porosity characterization on the surface. And crown fabrication. Cheng et al. elaborate that in the digital workflow of zirconia crown, image of the occlusal crown are captured using the intraoral scanner. 
and we can see the figure three. It is uh, the crown is scanned by intraoral scanner. And after that, the digital crown is designed by using CAD software program as shown in figure four. This is the design crown by using CAD. And firstly, Shaban discuss ways to fabricate the zirconia crown by using a CNC milling machine. Figure five show the zirconia crown milling machine. Next is centering zirconia. And the zirconia block is presented at 1000 degrees Celsius in factory that will allow the machinability of the workpiece. The centering process is significant to improve the porosity and mechanical properties of the dental crown. In addition, according to Vidna Raja, in the second step centering, the holding time for 2 hours until 10 hours could increase the densification of zirconia which will enlarge the growth of the grains to cover up the pores in microstructure. So a synthetic zirconia in temperature above 1200 is 10 times more harder while 5 times more tougher than in pre synthetic state, which the pre synthetic state below 1 below 1000. Figure 6 shows the surface damage in pre synthetic zirconia during C anti milling. Next is density. How describe the density as a physical property related to porosity of microstructure? When the temperature is increased, the number of pores will be decreased and it will increase the densification. And it shows on the figure 7, the densification of zirconia specimens. Next is surface topography. As we know, Hamid discussed the effect of the cutter and the workpiece during the mill process resulting in the scallop height effect and scratch grooves or the zirconia restoration as shown in figure 8. This is the scallop height effect and scallop height effect is, will, will lead to the increase in the surface roughness reading. Meanwhile, in figure 9, it shows the micro-pitting effect from the fabrication of the zirconia disc. In densification, how found the pores decrease gradually with increasing temperature at 1600. Next is the methodology of the study. Okay. As we can see in, uh, in the left is the process flow of the project. Okay. The first is CNC milling process. The 3D, milling, the 3D model of zirconia, which is crown and keyboard samples, is prepared for machining. And the machining of zirconia is performed by using the Ardenta 3D dental CNC milling machine, which is shown in figure 12. Okay, the employed design SCL file for crown sample and keyboard sample show in figure 11. And figure 11 it shows the crown sample of SCL file and figure 11 b shows the keyboard sample of the SCL file. Figure 13 shows the zirconia disc and figure 14 shows the zirconia block. Second is the sintering process. In the sintering, uh, the sintering temperature and its holding time are two significant parameters that could affect the restoration porosity. So according to Raja, the holding time for two, from 2 hours to 10 hours could increase the densification of zirconia, which will uh, enlarge the growth of grains to cover up the spores in microstructure. So in this study, uh, the holding time is set to 2 hours in reference to Stawar Zik. Uh, in table 1, shows the setup for the sintering process, with the holding time is 120 minutes, equal to 2 hours. Here is density test. We use the density test in Archimedes principle. Okay, the first is the porosity of a porous structure is calculated. And the formula is porosity equals to the true density true minus density bulk divided by density bulk. And we know uh, the bulk density is measured by using Archimedes principle. And we can see the density equals to dry weight of synthetic sample divided by weight loss in water. And multiplied with 0 0.9965 gram centimeter cube, which is the density of water at 27 degrees Celsius, uh, with the, with the Kundu research. So the process of the density is conducted by using densimeter. Fourth is surface roughness test. The surface roughness is examined on flat keyboard sheet of synthetic zirconia instead of crown specimen because it's complicated geometric crown surface. Uh, which the surface cannot recollect correctly. 
So the surface roughness uh, on cuboid will be examined on each of the side, as we can see in figure 16. We examine the cuboid shape to, to obtain the data consistency. So third is the test is conducted by using Mitutoyo surf test. The surface roughness tested at FKP lab. You can see uh, figure 17. In this analysis, the travel length is set to 0.08 mm times 3 due to the small length of the cuboid. And the roughness characteristic measured is arithmetic average, RE. We can see in figure 18, the example of measurement. And lastly, the surface topography analysis by using scanning electromicrostructure. So, uh, first we need to do sputter coating sample before working with SEM machine because we need to obtain the good quality of SEM image. So, due to non conductive nature of zirconia, the surface acts an electron trap, so it resulting accumulation of electrons on the surface that is called charging and it creates uh, white regions on the sample, influencing the image information. When sputter coat is used, the conductive coating material acts as a channel that allows the el charging electrons to be removed from the material. In additional thin layer of about 10 nanometers of a conductive material, for gold 80% and palladium 20% will be applied using this putter coater. So we can see at figure 21 shows the scale of height effect after the milling process. So it is expected that after sintering process, the surface roughness could be improved. Also, the increasing temperature it is expected that a compact restoration microstructure is produced. This sharp assumption is based on study by how, which shows the microstructure is compact without noticeable pores at high temperature in ceramic. A figure 22A shows the porosity still shown in the temperature of 1450 degrees Celsius and the figure 22B shows the 1650 degrees Celsius, the compact microstructure without having pores. So, the expected result the surface roughness of porosity of the ground could be improved by imp performing a suitable sintering temperature. The optimal temperature for this purpose has to be investigated in PSM2 and will be proposed as the main contribution of this study. So, the experimental setup for this study has been, has been planned in PSM1. That's all for me. Thank you.